another great uh, Big 12 environment. Uh, blessed, honored, thankful to God for the opportunity to uh, coach this group of guys and uh, in this league. And but you know, every night it's like this, and um, you know, it's it's tough when you're on the short end of it. Um, but we wouldn't want to do anything else, you know, and compete against the the best coaches, the best players, and the best conference in America. And so. Um, hats off to Cincinnati. Uh, they did a great job, um, you know, for most of the game. And then, you know, when they gave up the lead, they didn't. Um, they, they could have stopped, but they didn't. They, they they made a big play, and that's what happens in this league. Players make plays, and um, so hats off to them. Coach, what were they? Uh, you, you had some success on the boards against them. Was that a main focus tonight coming in? To you knew how good they were, number one in the conference, and tried to battle them there? Yeah, that, that was definitely an emphasis. Uh, Wes's team, tough. Um, I mean, they relentless to the glass, and so it was a major focus for us to, um, you know, be able to compete on the boards. And, and I mean, not, not let them, they get 37% of their misses, and uh, that we had no chance of winning if we allowed them to do that. When a guy like Dan Skillings is at a lineup, obviously a guy you think you'd plan for a lot, how much does that change everything? And did you see a struggle with your guys to kind of change their guarding of their other players? You know, um, an injury to a team usually doesn't affect them as much on, in the first game because uh, the teams there that are preparing for them are not prepared. Uh, players have a sense of freedom. You know, there's a rallying cry to get behind each other, man, next man up kind of thing. And um, the, in, an injury to a player usually takes its toll, like game two, three, as people are, are prepared for it. And, you know, it hurts in practice and rotations and, and all of that. But he's a terrific player. I'm sorry he wasn't able to play, and I hope he gets healthy. They had had a turnover problem recently, but tonight they turned you over 19 times. Did, was there anything that you saw different that they did on defense? or? Other than it just worked? No, I just didn't think we were, um, we didn't value the ball. Uh, they do a good job of being in the gaps and, you know, raking on the second dribble, and uh, we knew that, but we just didn't execute very well there. Coach, uh, Kaluma had a little bit of a rough game compared to some of his previous games, held to seven points tonight. What did you see from John Newman's defense on him that allowed Newman to have some success on that end of the floor? Um, you know, they're one of the better defensive teams in the league. And so, um, you know, some nights guys are on, some nights they're not. And uh, obviously, Art was a focus tonight. And uh, so other guys had to step up. And uh, that, that's, that's what you have a team for, that they can cover for each other. Tyler, what has kind of worked for you in the last few weeks when you've really turned it on on the offensive end? Belief. Um, and then confidence from my teammates and my coaches. Uh, no matter what anybody ever said, uh, these guys never gave up on me. And they continue to believe in me each and every day. And so, uh, like I've always said, uh, and Coach Tang has always said, the work is going to always show. Just continue to believe in yourself and God. Tyler, what would you guys kind of say in huddles to stay engaged and fight back from that deficit? We've been here before. Um, <clears throat> just just got to keep going. Um, like you said, we've, we've been in those situations plenty of times ahead and behind. And so uh, we've seen it. We've seen every type of you know game this year, and uh, you just got to keep fighting. And uh, I think we did a great job of, of doing it. I think we gave them, spared them 12 points twice in the second half, and uh, we made runs both times. But you know, was, uh, when we figure out how to you know stop those little lulls, um, you know, it's going to take us to the next level. I guess it wasn't your last possession, but your next to last one when you drove the basket was that the look you were hoping to get it just went wrong, or how do you yeah, feel? Yeah. Uh, Coach Tang believed in me and put the ball in my hands in the uh, last possession of the game. And, um, I just got to make a play there. Uh, you know, I didn't. Last thing I can do is turn it over, but um, just on me. Just got to find a way to make a play. And Jerome, what kind of lift do you think Jarrell gave you guys tonight? Uh, super big. Uh, 15 and seven. Um, you know, we we don't ask him to score much, but to come in and give us you know 15 points and seven boards against a you know a big fella like that over there um, just shows the. The, the level that, you know, Jarrell can play at. And uh, we believe in him so much. And, uh, you know, it's just about taking his confidence and riding it out. Jerome, that three-pointer that they got to go over the top, is that what you were thinking they were going to go to? No, they, they had multiple options on it. First, it's the option for, um, I think it was James. 
in, in the past they've used Thomas to drive left and then they bring the shooter off the backside. We wanted to corral it and then, um, you know, be there on the catch. And uh, he was a player, man. He just, that's, that's, that's a player making a play. And went by three, four feet behind the three-point line and rose up and shot a contested three and drilled it. And so he hats off to him. Jerome, you talked about how big it would be for either team to win this game. Yeah. Now that you guys lost it, what's what's the next step moving forward? What's what's the motivation? We got the biggest game of the season on Tuesday, right? Like we still have. This would have been a quad one win, uh, I, I believe. Um, I'm not sure where we're at in that for them, but it's a big win for them on their whole, you know, their their movement towards you know the NCAA tournament. So. It was big for either team to win this game. Uh, I said whoever won it, I felt, would go to the NCAA tournament. So I believe that, that they're an NCAA tournament team, and especially when Skillens is healthy, right? And, uh, and for us, we still have two top ten teams that we get to play. And I said all along, you get to nine wins in this league, and you deserve to be in the NCAA tournament. So everything we want is still in front of us. Jarrell, I also wanted to ask from your perspective, what was working so well for you tonight? Um, really just um, just putting my heart out on the court, really just uh, giving them my all, uh, just uh, help uh, do anything I can for my for my teammates and uh, for me to just keep going. And that's why I kept telling them at myself in my head to keep going, keep going, keep going hard, and no matter what. So yeah, that's really what it was. Yeah. Any other questions? Okay, thank you. Thank you.